Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here. Welcome back to another Starfield video. So I'm sure a lot of you guys like me have been getting into this game and there's a couple of things that are very annoying with playing this game and it mostly comes down to the UI and how sluggish it is to open the menus and close them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys three mods that I've installed for the game which really make it feel like a thousand percent better to play than if you don't install these mods and also how to get them working in tandem with one another because there is a little bit of a trick to it. So I'm going to show you guys what the mods are here. First of all, of course, we have the inventory mod. You'll notice that it makes everything a lot more concise. Everything is just shrunk down a little bit. Um, you know, you can just see everything here a whole lot better. It's so nice here. Also, you've got some additional options if you want to make things a little bit more basic. You can click on this little arrow, um, then you've got like the basic menu, but you can also make things even more advanced if you click on the plus here. You can show, you know, how many rounds you've got or like the manufacturer and you can add additional information there. So that's pretty cool. And the second mod here, which is actually my favorite mod that I've downloaded, is called Underlaid Menus. And what it does is makes your menus in games much more snappy. You guys will notice that they're kind of a pain to navigate in this game so if we go up to the star map here you can just go tab 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 and you can just see if i'm spamming tab here how quick it is to get into these menus if i hit l here to go to my missions you can just get straight back to here and straight to there they've kind of just got rid of all of the unnecessary animations the screen fade outs the fade ins and also if you go to the skill tab here you'll notice that we can just flick through the different panels here without the weird animation and they've also increased the fps of all of the menus to 60 fps whereas normally they were at 30 so just navigating around the menus is a a much better experience here if you just it's it's just so much better it really is just a joy to play this game after that and the third one which i will show you guys in a sec is basically going to just make your game start up faster it's going to get rid of the bethesda splash screen that shows all of those logos it's just going to take you straight into the load game screen instead Okay, so what you want to do is come over to the Nexus Mods website, find Starfield. Um, what I do is go to Mods here and then Trending, and you're going to see this screen. So the three mods we want here is Star UI Inventory. Uh, we want Underlaid Menus, and we want Clean Field. So go and click on each of those. Click on Manual. You're going to have to click Slow Download unless you are a premium user. And download each of these files here. Save them to your desktop. Okay, so with that done, the installation of these is honestly fairly easy and most of them come with a readme file, but we are going to want to install these mods in a specific order to make them work and well make it as easy as possible for you guys. So I recommend installing Cleanfield first and the easiest way to do this is just hop in there and I like to extract all of the folders here to my desktop because you don't necessarily want all of this stuff inside your game folder. There you'll get a readme you definitely want to read this because this just explains perfectly how to install things here and all of the different options. But long story short, what you want to do is take the data folder here, which has an interface folder in it and a video folder, and then you want to find your Starfield directory. So if you have this game on Steam, go to Steam, right click on Starfield, go to manage and browse local files. And this is going to be your Starfield directory. All you need to do is go into your data folder here and copy and paste interface and video into this folder. You'll see that these two folders are already here for me because obviously I've already created them. With that done, you're pretty much good to go. And now when you load up the game, it is gonna be much faster and it's gonna skip a lot of the screens. However, if you want to have any of these menu customization options, so you'll see you have this folder here called exactly that, you can install some additional files and that is exactly what I did. I chose this one here to keep the message of the day because I do like to see what that says. And I also kept the Starfield logo, uh, but I sped it up to 60 FPS. If you want those settings, all you need to do is go and copy the settings from these two folders where I just showed you guys into the same directory. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this mod does here. If we double click Starfield, we get a black screen, and then boom, you're right into the Starfield splash screen. You don't have to wait for Bethesda. Click there, click continue, and you load up your game. So the only reason I say to go and have that first is because obviously every time you install the mod, you're going to want to check, go in game, check if the mod's working, come back out of the game. And this just makes that process a little bit faster. And of course, every time you want to play some Starfield. So 
The difference is here is you can see it, it shows me the logo and it shows me the welcome to Starfield uh, little news feed there. If you don't put in that additional file that I showed you guys, it won't show the logo and it won't show this splash screen. Okay, it'll just show the plant in the background and you'll have the menu here. Okay, so with that done, we're going to delete all of this from our desktop. Delete clean field. We don't need that anymore. And now we have the last two mods. Now, this is very important. What you want to do is install undelayed menu first. So again, click here. Put this on your desktop. Easy peasy. And all you have to do is, again, take this interface folder and go and put it in your game directory. Again, there's a really nice readme here and you can go and read through all of that. It, it definitely gives you some nice little details. Now, there is one additional step that you're going to have to take to make these two mods work here. And if we check in the readme, there is a section here called installation. And here it shows you just to copy the data interface folder into your Starfield directory. However, you then need to add these lines here if you haven't done this already for another mod. So what we're going to do is go find our Starfield directory again, browse local files, and you will have this one here, starfield.ini. You want to right click, go to open with notepad or wordpad. And these two lines here in the archive section are what you need to add. Now, this is where I had to add it. You'll notice that he says to go to my game Starfield, Starfield custom INI and put this in there. And I'm going to show you guys that in a second. But for me, that didn't work. And I had to put it in the Starfield INI folder here directly in the Starfield directory. Now, since the archive section already exists and all of this stuff here will already be in your file. So what you need to do is just add these two last lines. You can just copy and paste them from here. However, I also recommend putting this in the other place as well. So if we go to, hold on a second, documents, my games, Starfield, you're going to want to create this file here. So you just go new text document and you're going to call it Starfield dot custom has to be a big C by the way dot I and I and you're going to want to remove this now I'm not going to go and create this because I've already got one um uh, well let's just call it two you're going to want to remove the dot text ending there to actually make it work and if you do it correctly it will come up saying if you change your file name extension the file might become usable are you sure you want to do this I'm going to put no because I don't need this one now if you don't see the .txt ending there, what you can do is come to view and click on this little tick saying file name extensions. If you don't click on that, it's not going to show you those and you won't be able to make it a sort of custom file there. Anyway, once you have this file created, again, open with notepad and you're going to want to put these two lines, but this time you are going to have to create the archive section in there. You'll see I've also got some, some other things in here as well and I've got something to change my FPS. By the way, shout out if you guys want to put your FPS to 90 rather than the default, which I believe is 75, you can go and add these two lines in here and they will change your FPS. Okay, that is the undelayed menu done. Once you've done that, I recommend booting up the game and making sure that that mod is working correctly before you go any further. Then you're going to delete that, delete that one. And now finally, we have star UI inventory. Now, if you've already put those two command lines in for the underlaid mod, you don't need to do it again for this one. What those two command lines do basically is make it so you can still get achievements within the game and so that the mods will function properly because Bethesda kind of, you know, realizes if you've modded the game, maybe you shouldn't be able to get achievements because you're essentially cheating. So what we're doing is making sure that those things still happen. Now, Star UI, it does have a readme, but what the readme says essentially is see the mod page on Nexus for more instructions. So if you want to go back to the mod page where we downloaded this mod, you can find the installation directions there, but it's pretty easy, although we're not going to need all of this stuff. So the readme, we can get rid of there. This folder here called optional, these are settings to actually run your inventory at 120 FPS rather than 60 FPS. I believe they're somewhat buggy, they're somewhat unstable, so I don't really recommend using these. So for that reason, I'm gonna delete the optional folder. Um, this foam mod folder here, we also don't need that. All we need is this interface folder, and all you need to do is go and, just as we did before, 
right click on interface, copy this one, go back to Starfield here, browse local files, you're going to go into data, and then you're just going to go and click paste there. Now, when you click paste, it is probably going to say this destination has six files with the same name. I already have these files in here, so that's why it's saying 10 for me. But what it's going to ask is if it can overwrite six of the files from the previous mod that you just installed. And what you want to do is put yes. If you don't do that, then the UI inventory mod will not work because the underlaid menus mod will instead take precedence and it will be used instead of the UI mod. So what you want to do is make sure that these files here get overwritten and that's why we're installing the mods in this particular order. Then once you've done that, come into interface here and you should have a new customizable file called star UI inventory. So open that one with a notepad. And what you're going to notice is that here you can customize pretty much everything to do with your infantry. So you've got the font size for the main text in the categories. The default there is 20. And you can just go ahead and change this if you put it to 15. Well, now the font size in game is going to be a little bit smaller. You can change the size of the boxes. You can customize this completely to your will. But we're not going to go over all of those different options here. But there is one option we do need to change, and it is this one here. It's called B Instant Open Close Animation. And this will be set to zero if you just installed the mod. You want to change this from a zero to a one. Basically, what this is going to do is just speed up the open close animation of the inventory screen so that it syncs up with the other fast animation mod that we installed. If you don't do this, it's going to try to open the menu with a slow animation. Um, then you're going to have like a slow animation on your inventory screen and everything else is going to be nice and fast and snappy. So I'm going to exit out of there, not save for me, but you guys are of course going to save. And that is pretty much it. And there you go. Everything should be working nice. You should have your new inventory here. You should have much faster options and menus and everything should be looking peachy. Let me know, guys, if you run into any trouble. I am aware that there are lots of other videos showing off some of the best mods in Star Citizen, but I kind of feel like they mainly just list off the mods and what they do. They don't really show you how to install them. And I personally ran into some hours of trouble this morning trying to make these mods all work in tandem with one another. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can do it. There are, of course, a ton of other great mods out there for Starfield that you can get. But for me, these ones make the biggest difference. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Leave a like down below if you did. Subscribe for more, possibly, Starfield videos, maybe Battlefield, who knows. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.